Welcome, everyone, to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and gorgeous PNC Park. Major League Baseball on tap. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And on the hill, the southpaw from Mexico, Julio Urias. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They could move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Over to Joe. And a quick out, number one. Fastball groove right down the middle. You now one out, point. runner at second. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Darius Henry. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. His latest homer in an incredible season. And they lead it. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Darius Henry. He's already homered here in this one. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. In there for strike one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Man, it's second here with two away. Here's Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Henry stands at second with two gone. Here you go. Let it fly now. Cut on and miss, struck him out. That's out number three. It's a four-run inning as a result of two homers. Home half of the fifth coming up. Brave six and the Pirates nothing. Darius Henry next up for the Braves. He's already homered in this game. I see it, driver right there. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. And that one hops the wall. Acuna coming home. Cut off, now a throw home. Not in time, he scores. And it's now a six-run lead. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And it's scoring position with two away. Austin Riley getting ready to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And the righty deals. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. A run, a hit, and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Braves seven and the Pirates one. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Matt Frazier. Left-hand batter waits. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. 
And it one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones. The at the plate for Pittsburgh, three. Connor Joe. in the air left field Henry makes the play one down just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left here's O'Neill Cruz one for three one out runners at first and second Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double as a run scores. Well, everyone is thinking it. Would the runner have scored from first if the ball stayed in the park? We'll never know, but they do get a run across with a chance to do more damage in the inning. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Darius Henry. Henry. I need you right here. One time. Let's go. That one ripped right center field. Back there. Gone. So he blasts one out the other way, and they tack one on the board. It's 10-3. an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap and you know there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either he let that ball travel and he got great extension on the ball well the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball well they've been winning series they win this one here and you got yourself a little bit of breathing room but you want to keep the same mindset let's go into the next place and let's take that series again 12-4 is the way this one finishes for chris singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at mlb the show i'm john chomby saying so long Time of the ball game, three hours and 57 minutes. Thank you for joining us.